You may have heard me say before, and I know I could be wrong, that I think that what's been going on in the stock market this year is an almost archetypal stock market correction, not the beginnings of bear market. And of course, uh, the definition of a bear market traditionally is a decline with some good duration of more than 20% off of the very broad stock market. I like to think of that off of the global stock market, MSCI world. Uh, you may prefer to think of it as the S&P 500, but it's not off of some little narrow sector going down a lot. People say that a lot. I always get a little annoyed by that when they say something like uh, the steel stocks are in a bear market. You know, there's something that's always falling apart. Uh, that doesn't tell you much about the broad market. A drop of 10 to 20 percent is traditionally thought of as a correction, is faster uh, and ends quicker and reverts to new highs within a bull market. And a drop of less than 10 percent is just kind of thought of as normal volatility. Uh, this one based on all of the corrections that have existed for the S&P 500 since 1925. Uh, just fits into the pattern of an archetypal one in terms of the way it's acted from the very beginning. They typically, depending on whether you're looking at mean or median average, last two to three months. Uh, they drop on average about 14%. Uh, this one at its bottom so far has been about 13%. Uh, they about two-thirds of the time recover in a V-shaped pattern, and about a third of the time recover in a W-shaped pattern. Uh, and, 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 and people try to time them. And I've always said they come for any reason or no reason. They've always got scary worst and first stories. Oh my God, it's terrible. It's the worst. It's the first. This has never happened before. This is going to be a catastrophic event. But in fact, those fears end up being false, and uh, the bull market resumes trying to avoid these things is something that no one's ever done very well. But when they try, they're often in the process, once one started, of saying, I think it's going to be a real bear market and I want to get out. I want to get out to sidestep the bear market. And if they're right, that's a perfectly valid thing to do. But the worst thing you can actually do is to get out at the bottom of the V or right after the resumption of the bull market, just as it started, as you get to break even, which is often referred to as break evenitis. Break evenitis is the desire to get out where you got in so you haven't on paper dollar to dollar lost any money. And the problem with break evenitis is that when you have a correction and you get back to the top, the history of that is that the next 6, 12, and 24 months is very positive, and you miss out on the opportunity costs that had you in stocks in the first place at the moment that the correction started. And that loss of opportunity cost is a bigger draw, a bigger real loss for you. Uh, not, not a loss in dollars that you lose, but a loss in dollars that you should have had. Then anything that happens within the correction. So it's very important when you see a correction rebounding, not to say, boy, oh boy, now that it's rebounding, I ought to get out before it goes back down for fear that it might, because the reality is that once you get to the new high, you're going for a nice long ride for a good long time, and to miss that is actually a huge opportunity cost and detrimental to why you own stocks in the first place. Thank you very much for listening to me. Subscribe to the Fisher Investment YouTube channel if you like what you've seen. Click the bell to be notified as soon as we publish new videos.